welcome to this week's edition of It's Your Call, brought to you by our very good friends at Quit Now. This is where we have a look at some of the umpiring decisions from the previous round. Round 17 is our focus this weekend, as he does every Tuesday afternoon. The umpire's manager joins me, Jeff Geesham. Welcome, Geesh. Good afternoon, Wayne. Uh, get involved at AFL, the Twitter address, hashtag your call. Pick out a decision, send them through, and we'll continue for the remainder of the years. We have all up to date to pick out two decisions to have a look at. Before we jump into the decisions, we saw another ground invasion in the Blues Bulldog game. We talk about player safety, but what about the safety of the umpires? Yeah, it's always a concern for the umpires as well, Wayne. At AFL level, we have amazing security uh, you know, standards with a lot of security people, police, etc. But unfortunately, at country levels, metropolitan levels, we don't. And it's probably a bigger concern at those levels because of what can happen when they get too close to the umpires. Yeah, the people at Eddie Had Stadium certainly got their hands full at the moment. Let's jump straight into it. We stay at Eddie Had Stadium, the Blues and the Bulldogs, deliberate rush behind. Yes, we see this bit of footage here. We haven't seen much of this this year, but we see Brett Thornton pick the ball up, take clean possession, and then handball the ball through, probably from about 14 or 15 metres away. Uh, Brett looks a bit confused, but you can see he's got possession, handballs it a long way, had a lot of other options and could have done other things. We haven't seen much of it this year, but we're really pleased the umpire picked that up and paid that free kick. Yeah, I reckon that's pretty well straight and uh, easy to understand there. Next one we have a look at, big game, the Bombers taking on the Cats. Courtney Dempsey involved here. This was fortunate, actually. Yes, it was, and, you know, it was difficult to pick up on the night, but we can just see it quickly there, and we'll see a replay now. Great hands. Yeah, Courtney pitches the ball at the umpire with some power and some speed. It was a little bit of anger uh, situation. Probably luckily for Courtney that Brett was able to take that ball, because if it had to hit him at that speed, he probably would have looked a lot worse. And we know Courtney's not the sort of player to want to, mm. you know, get up tight with umpires and things like that, but just a little caution out there to all players, just be a little bit careful about that situation. Free kick was paid, probably sufficient, but it can go further than that. Yeah, beautiful hands from Brett Rosebury there. Job well done. At AFL, hashtag your call. That's how you get involved. Pick out the decision, send them through, and we'll have a discussion around two of those. And that's the first one we get to. This one's from Simon McEwen at Go Tig 7, and this is deliberate out of bounds. A couple of examples, Gish. Yeah, well, this first one here, we're comfortable with that. Uh, we've been asked to be really strong with deliberate out of bounds. We can see the player kick the ball off the ground towards the boundary, not directly, but towards the boundary. This one here, we deem to be too harsh. This is a mistake by the umpire. Cotchen picks up the ball very close to the boundary line, and in fact, did all he could to try and keep the ball in play. Kicks it. Doesn't mean for it to go out. Ball rolled out. We would have preferred that that was just a throw in. Tigers may have cost themselves on the weekend. Brett Delidio certainly gave one of the umpires a gobful after not getting a free kick, or he thought it was definitely a free yeah. kick. Yeah, and look, Brett, we admit Brett should have got a free kick just prior to this. Uh, he'd let it spill over. Next time he caught up with that same umpire, he gave that umpire a mouthful, used abusive language and a bit of obscene language. So the umpire had no choice to pay a free kick. Brett went on with it a little bit further, which resulted in a 50-metre penalty as well. So we know it's an emotional game, but the players do need to show better self-control, and that was a clear free kick for that. So we can see off the graphic there, free kicks uh, for uh, relating to umpires. A free kick shall be awarded against a player official who uh, uses abusive, insulting, threatening or obscene language towards an umpire, or who behaves in an abusive obscene, threatening manner to an umpire. And unfortunately for Brett, he fought, fell into those categories. Yeah, unfortunate, but uh, another good nomination there from at DF, uh, DMF underscore feisty tie. Keep them coming in at AFL hashtag your call. Well, I was at the Bombers in Geelong game and I tell you what, the Bomber supporters were irate. And here's a compilation of some free kicks that went against the Bombers. Want to get your take on this? Well, I was sitting on the bench at the time and... Uh, I, the supporters were going ballistic. There was three free kicks probably in about 15 to 20 seconds. We saw that first one a push out to Hawkins. Then came a chop in the arms from that kick. And then the ball went forward a little bit further. And we saw some high contact to Hawkins. So we can see the Bomber fans getting very upset. But three free kicks in a row within 20 or 30 seconds is unusual. Mm. This one here, we can see Hawkins cop a jumper punch to the chin. Uh, copped a, f a free kick and, uh, and kicked a goal from it. So... We know the Bomber supporters are all right, but there were three free kicks there, all warranted, and uh, yes, the, the fans went wild, but 
certainly three warranted free kicks. Uh, got a feeling that they're still irate with some of the decisions. Just before we wrap things up, the uh, deliberate rush behind by Brett Thornton, Luke Dalhaas actually had a shot that would have been his yeah. fifth goal of the night. Goal was given, but yeah. then a review was ordered. Who was? Because there was some suggestion that it was actually player led, but you can't do that. So that no. was from the boundary umpires. Yeah, it was from the boundary umpires. Uh, our goal umpire gave it as a goal. It, uh, it it snicked the post. That was pretty obvious. People watching at home would have seen that snick the post. Our two boundary umpires who are on each post saw and heard straight away the flick to post. So they went in to tell him, look, we reckon it's hit the post. So they went to review and clearly the vision showed that it did hit the post. So we're pleased the right outcome was given. Uh, good job all round. Uh, appreciate you coming in. Look forward to doing the same thing next no week. No problem, Swain. Thanks to Jeff Geishin, the umpire's manager. Get involved at AFL. Hashtag your call. Congratulations this week to Nathan Bourne of Buick. Uh, Berwick in Victoria, I should say. And Megan Wishart of Northgate in South Australia. Winners of last week's Quit Now Reserve seat tickets. And our great mates at Quit Now are giving you the chance to win reserve seating double passes to a game of your choice. All you need to do is log on to quitnow.gov.au and in 25 words or less, give us your best motivational speech, encouraging a friend or family member to quit smoking. We'll see you next week.